All right, goddamn ex-girlfriend. Dear Billy Boy, um, your podcast is killer, man. Thanks. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And he says, I'm writing you to get some insight on my ex-girlfriend's situation. About six months ago, my ex dumped my ass and totally crushed my heart. Ah, that's the worst. You got to go through it, though. Um, he says, I was fucked up for a while, but took some of your advice and focused on improving my own shit. I never called her, texted her, or did any asshole for six months. A couple of months ago, she texts me. Ah, oh, fucking, I knew it. I knew it. Now, without reading this thing, she's texted you. Now, either she legitimately wants to get back together with you, which if you still love her, that would be a good thing, or whatever the fuck she... Whatever life path she went down over the last six months has hit a hard, has hit a bump in the road, and maybe she's having second thoughts, or maybe she's completely evil, and she's like, "Wow, he just never called me again. Why don't I call him up and mind fuck him?" Those are my three guesses on the uh, the cunt genie lamp there. All right, so she texted me. She wanted to know what I've been up to and how I was doing. She also wanted to know why I unfriended her on Facebook. And he writes, why do you think, you dumb cunt? (laughs) Now, wait a minute. Did you unfriend her because of my advice or did you do that on your own? That's a great thing. You got got to get – cut the cancer out. You can't be watching what the fuck she's doing. All you're doing is prolonging that pain in your heart. You got to – I'm telling you, you got to – Cut off all contact, and then you got to go Chris Bosch. We just got to drop to your knees a couple times a day and cry it out. Don't be afraid to fucking do that. Now, I wouldn't do it in front of a bunch of men, but, you know, do it on your own. Like, as a man, you have to understand that the reason why you're able to cry is because you're supposed to. Because if you don't, you keep it in your chest, and it becomes anger, and then you yell at your kids. All right. I resisted the urge to tell her to go fuck herself and kept my responsible my response is cool and casual. Dude, you are on the road to a post-breakup blowjob. That's where you are right now. Let's see if you keep the car on the road. Here is my question. How the fuck do broads know when you are finally getting over them and that they should get a hold of you and make you feel like shit again? Also, do you th- see, I knew it. Also, do you think it's a dick move to get a hold of an ex if you're the one who dumped them? When they haven't gotten a hold of you since the breakup. Finally, how do you think I should handle this going forward? Um, well, you know what? You you basically you learned one of life's tough lessons. Is that... Uh, well, I mean, you know something? I might be being a dick here. Like, maybe guys, guys do this shit too. All right? Guys do do this shit too. You got those guys who uh, they break up with a girl... But then they keep her in, in – they try to, like, hold on to her so no one else can fuck her. You know, guys who do that shit. So this is really like I'm being a sexist moron as usual. Um, I'm coming from the male perspective. That's all I got. All right? Trying to show a little empathy here. Um, how do they know? I don't know. But they're great at it. So rather than trying to figure it out because I don't know that you can as a guy, just respect that they have that ability. All right. Um, You might want to consider changing your cell phone number so she can't text slash mind fuck you again. Um, What a it is the fucking worst. They're just the fucking worst in that situation, dude. You just you got to walk away from a man. So I can't remember what the fuck you asked me. I'm going through all the breakups I've been through mentally right now. Um, All right. So the first thing you said is how the fuck do broads know when you're finally over them? I don't know. Change your cell phone number. It's my solution. Um, Also, do you think it's a dick move to get a hold of an ex? If you have no intention of getting back with them, yes, I do. And you have to accept the guilt that you feel that you broke somebody's heart. And you have to own that. You can't, like, call in. Just call in to make sure you're doing okay. You're not helping that other person. If you have no intent, you're giving them a half a second of hope and then... You know, you just you, – you're, you're ruining them. You got to let them go. Um, and lastly, how do you think I should handle this going forward? Yeah, I would say uh, 
don't respond to her texts or uh, even then, just her texting you and seeing your name and knowing that she's thinking about you and your heart's still going to be like, well, maybe, maybe she wants to get back together. I would just change your number. Start over again. Go Bill Bixby. Get a backpack. Walk out of town. Do, 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 do. Go down the fucking street. Um, start working out. Get some new women in your life. That's another thing. Go out there. Go hit, hit on something he thinks out of your league. Who gives a shit? Go have a good time. Um, hitting on a girl that's, uh, that's so-called out of your league is like playing a sport against people who are better than you. It makes you better. It ups your game. All right. So then when you you play against somebody who's only a little out of your league, you're actually you're used to playing beyond and you're not nervous. You're used to that speed. You know, does that make any fucking sense? I hope it does.